So starting in your child's pose, just take a moment to breathe. You're gonna need your breath a lot throughout the class. So just take this moment to relax your head to the floor, maybe get a little bit of a stretch. You feel free to close your eyes. Let your breath be a little bit of a stretch for your, for your ribs, your spine, your whole back body here. See if you can let the air that comes into your body really expand your body from the inside out. Find some softness at the bottom of your exhalation. As I said, this is gonna be quite a strong class. We're gonna be moving throughout. But bring this sense of peace, this sense of rhythm and stability with you throughout. Take another breath in. This time, can you open your mouth to let it go? And then slowly peel your body off the floor, roll up into a kneeling position, roll your shoulder blades back behind you, cross your fingers, reach your palms forwards, and lift up to the sky. Get a bit of a stretch. Exhale, push the air out in front of you. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, push forwards. Just one more bit of spinal awakening. Exhale, push away. Inhale, open your arms wide into a T. And exhale, plant your hands on the floor. Make your way into a tabletop position. Shoulders distance, your hands are, knees or hips distance. Take a moment to bring some circles over these wrists. We're gonna be on our hands, on our palms a lot. So just <laughs> let the blood kind of pour in. Can you really connect to the ground? Press down through your fingertips, maybe even your knuckles. Take that circle in the other way. Wonderful. And then feel free to move your spine through some cat cows, maybe even some organic free movements that just come to you, maybe side to side. No limits. Move your neck around. Get a feel for any tight spots. And move with your breath as well. Wonderful. And from there, we're going to set up into our plank. So make sure your hands are below your shoulders. Tuck your toes under. Step your feet back and find your plank. Begin to firm up through your glutes, your quads. Activate through your feet as well. Press down through these hands. Keep breathing and find that you have this long front body. It's not completely compressed. It's long, broad collarbones. Another inhalation here. And exhale, soften your knees, push through your hands, find downward facing dog. So take a moment to walk the feet around, pedaling out through the heels. And then take two breaths in movement. Maybe even bending your elbows, straightening them, coming and swaying side to side. And then find your steadiness, so your stillness in your middle in your downward facing dog. Take another inhalation here. Roll your body forwards into a plank, and then soften your knees, bend your elbows, push back to downward facing dog. Roll forwards to plank, vertebra by, by vertebra. Cruise back to downward facing dog. Two more, inhale forwards. Exhale back. Last one. Inhale forwards. And exhale back. From downward facing dog, send your heels over towards the left. So your right foot is staggered in front of your left. Reach your right arm up. Now bend both knees like you're sitting into a chair. And then roll so that your legs go straight. So you're rolling forwards. Bend and roll. Two more, try breathe through it. 
straighten, bending your knees and straighten. Come back to plank and then send your heels to the right. Left arm goes up, same thing, bending. Straighten legs, lift your left arm overhead and continue this movement. Repeating with your breath. Two more. Straighten, bend, and straighten. Find yourself in a plank. And then from your plank, we're gonna lower all the way to the floor, really slowly to the count of 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh my God, that was tough. Untuck your toes. I keep looking at my phone, but you guys are up there. <laughs> Bring your fingertips on either side of your shoulders, your mat. Let's open up our front body through some oscillating cobras. So inhale, peel your chest, your head up. Activate your back body. Exhale, lower. Enjoy these. Inhale to lift. And exhale, dip back down. Two more, inhale, rising. Exhale, lowering. Last one. And exhale, lower. Lift your knees off the floor, your legs go up. Reach your arms behind you, lift your chest off the floor. Make a fist with your palms. Lift higher so you're in your locust position. Squeezing your back body, your shoulder blades towards one another. Now bring your hands to your ears. Reach your arms forwards and up. Inhale. Exhale, pull your elbows back. Reach your arms forwards and up. Pull elbows back. Two more. Reach your arms forwards and up. Pull back. Last one. Reaching forwards and up. Pull back. Release your hands below your shoulders. Relax your legs down. Stretch your arms straight so that your chest comes forward and you're in your cobra. Exhale, lower down. One more time. Inhale, push the floor away. Feel your glutes are active. Heart reaches forwards. And this time as you exhale, push through your hands, send your hips all the way back to child's pose briefly. Inhale, row front. Tuck your toes under. Five plank, breathing in. Exhale, we lower to the count of five, four, three, two, and one. Lift your hands off the floor, put your hands back down, and you're gonna push away from the floor to the count of five, four, three, two, one. Soft the knees, cruise your hips back to downward facing dog. Take two long, big breaths. In and out, let yourself hear your breathing. Feel the floor beneath your fingers. Wonderful, one last inhalation, exhalation. Now sweep your right leg up to the sky. Step your right foot to the outside of your right hand. And you're gonna pull this left leg through. So through your, your sort of window underneath you and sit down. Stretch both of your legs forwards like this. And now bend your knees to your chest. Find your can balance in the space between your sit bones and your tailbone. Lifting your shins parallel to the floor, reach your arms forwards. Let's lower down, stretch your legs. Exhale, pull back up and lower and lift. Eight more. Exhale to lift. Inhale, lower. Beautiful, keep going. And let's go for five, squeezing in. And four, three, two, on this last one, stay up, squeeze your knees towards your chest and heels to your glutes. Reach your arms forwards, big, big squeeze and compression for five, four, three, two, 
and one. Step your right foot down, left hand down. Step your left foot back where we were. Come to your fingertips. Rock forwards and back. Here we are. I'm so hot. <laughs> My face is hot. <laughs> Wonderful. From here, bring your right foot halfway down the mat and turn your right toes forwards. Come to the outer edge of your left foot. Lower your left hip down. Reach your right arm towards the back of the mat. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Squeeze that left side. Exhale, lower. Three more. And lower. Two more, you've got it. And lower. Keep with your breath, last one. And lower. Bring your right foot back towards the top. Come to the ball of your left foot. And this time, we're gonna peel your leg, left leg through again. Sit back down. Find your balance. And lower all the way to that point where your legs can go long and you can hold it, hold the crunch. Maybe you're not even touching your shoulder blades to the floor. Keep breathing for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Squeeze your knees to your chest. Take a breath. Exhale, hold. Heels to boots for 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Right foot goes down, left hand goes down, left foot goes back. Beautiful. Rise up. Here we are. Step your left foot down. Turn to face the side. Warrior two. Take a moment to breathe. <laughs> breathe into your abdomen. Breathe into your waist. Now as you exhale, bend your elbows behind you like you're squeezing a walnut between your shoulder blades. Feel your back body strong. A bit different. A bit of a different warrior too. Wonderful. Reach your arms out again. Throw your hands to the floor. Step back to a plank. Inhale here. Exhale lower for five, four, three, two, one. Lift your hands off. Hands go down. Push back up to plank for five, four, three, two, one. Soften your knees. Cruise your hips to the sky. Downward facing dog. Take big breaths, wiggle your toes. If you see me kind of getting out of the movement, it's because I'm trying to make sure my voice is directing to the microphone. <laughs> so you just keep doing you and your downward facing dog. And let's try the other side. Now we kind of know where we're going. Inhale, sweep your left leg up. Exhale, step your left foot to the outside of your left hand. Pull your right leg through, sit down. Find your balance in your Navasana. Breathe in, let's reach back. Exhale, pull up, inhale, reach away. Beautiful, eight more. Lifting, squeezing. Wonderful, can you do this with your breath? Sharp exhalation as you lift up. Five more, four more, beautiful, three, exhale, two, one, stay, squeeze heels to glutes, reach fingers far forwards, big, big compression for three, two, one, step your left foot down, right hand down, step your right foot back, bring your fingertips to the floor, and rock. Take a moment to breathe. Let your right hip flexor open up. I'm gonna turn on my mat. Now right hand goes flat down. Step your left foot halfway down the mat. Turn so you're on the outer edge of your right foot. Drop your right hip down. Let's begin. Pushing away, lifting up, and lowering. Inhale, lift. And lower. 
Three more. Two more. Let your breath travel smoothly in and out. Last one. Lift just high enough so you can step your left foot back to the top and come to the ball of your right foot. And then once again, pull your right leg through. Sit down. Make your way onto your bum. And then you know what's coming. Bend your knees. Balance. Then roll towards the part of your spine where you can feel still some activation. And you can maybe stretch your legs. Roll your shoulder blades back. Staying here for 10 seconds. This is really hard for me too. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, squeeze, three, two, one. Lifting up. Inhale. Exhale, big compression. Five, four, three, two, one. Left foot goes down, right hand goes down. Step your right foot back. Rise up. Here we are. Open out. So as we open out, your right heel goes flat down. Your right toes turn out. And your hips open up. Warrior two, take a moment. Feel the openness for your inner thighs. Big breath into those ribs. Then as you exhale, bend your elbows, squeeze back behind you. Squeeze the walnut. Here we are. Reach your arms out again. Climb the floor. Find your plank. Can you lower down? You can drop your knees if you need. For five, four, three, two, one. Lift your palms up. Palms back down. Pushing up for five, four, three, two, one. Soft knees, hips to sky. Down, we're facing dog. Two big breaths. Let your belly empty out. Let your belly come in as you exhale. Let's make it through at least two Surya A's, active sun salutations. So lift your heels, bend your knees, look forwards. Step or hop your feet to the outside of your hands. Inhale, sit back, active squat. Exhale, stretch your legs, palms to heart. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, sit back. Inhale, hands go down. Exhale, plank. Take just one push up. You can drop to your knees. Now everyone drop elbows and knees. Pull your chest through into a cobra. Inhale to lift. Exhale, make your way to down or facing dog, however you wish. Inhale, lift your heels, bend your knees, look front. Step or hop your feet to the outside of your hands. Inhale, sit back, active squat. Exhale, stretch legs. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, sit back. Inhale, hands down. Exhale to plank. Take your plank push up, your chaturanga. Drop knees, drop elbows. Pull through, breathe in. Breathe out, downward facing dog. Take a breath cycle. Where you are, take a breath cycle. Inhale, sweep your left leg up. Exhale, bring your left knee towards your right arm and step your right foot flat down. Drop your left knee down, lift your right arm up. Option to stay just like this and feel from the inside what we're about to do. If not, Try for five rounds to lift this left knee up towards your left armpit. Maybe it lifts just a little bit. And lower, and lift, and lower. Three more. Keep your breath with you. 
And one last one. Now bring your right hand down, lift your right heel, and come into the other side plank. So you're going to roll onto the outer edge of your right foot and try to lift your left knee up. Now, if this is too difficult, step your left foot down, drop your right knee down, and you're just going to crunch left elbow to left knee. And if you'd like to go further, come to that little star side plank and tap your left toes to the floor behind your right knee. Lift up. Four more. Lift up. Three. Two. One. Look to the top of the mat. Try and step your left foot front. Yes. Bring your left foot to the top of the mat. Lower your right knee down. Hook your thumbs. Take your stretch. Take your big, expansive breath as you stretch your fingers to the sky. Maybe you lean back. Feel your ribs expand in that inhalation. Bring your fingertips down. Lift your right knee off and send your hips back. Find yourself in a fold over this left leg. One more breath here. Bend your left knee, look forwards. Kick off this right foot, balance in your left knee, try to bring your hands to your heart. And then to the count of five, straighten this left leg. Five, four, three, two, one. Activate that back foot. Now bend again for five, four, three, two, and one. Step your right foot back. Bring your thumbs to the base of your skull. As you inhale, reach your arms long away. Open your heart. Exhale, hands down. Step back. Drop to your knees if you need for just one push-up. And then drop elbows and knees. Pull through vinyasa or take a child's pose. So what suits you now it's not what's going to suit someone else. Listen to your body. Let's try the other side. Sweep your right leg up to the sky. Inhale. Exhale, right knee towards your left arm. Step your left foot down. Lower your right knee down. Lift your left arm up. For five, try and lift this right knee up towards this right armpit. All right, go at your own pace. Just five of those little pulses. Bring your left hand down, lift your left heel up, and you're just pivoting on this left foot to come to the outer edge and lift your right knee up. Remember, you can lower your left knee down. All right? Now, if you're here, try to tap the right toes behind you five times and three and dripping sweat and two and one look to the top of your mat step forwards it's okay if it looks awkward drop your left knee down hook thumbs lift up enjoy your opening breath take your time Slowly frame your right foot, lift your left knee, send your hips back, bow over this right leg. It can be straight, it can also be bent slightly. Now look forwards, bend your right knee, maybe bring your fingertips slightly more forwards as you lift your left leg up and let's straighten this right leg, lengthening this right side body to the count of five. Four, three, two, and one. Rebending it for five. Four, three. My fingers aren't doing what my mouth is doing. <laughs> one, step back. Bring your thumbs to the base of your skull. And as you inhale, reach your arms long. Look up like you're taking off a crown. Wonderful. 
Hands find the floor. This is your last time going through this challenging vinyasa. Step back to plank. Take a push up, do it. Squeeze your legs. Feel the strength of your body. Drop knees, drop elbows. Pull through as you breathe. Exhale, downward facing dog. Lift your heels, bend your knees. Step or hop to the top of the mat. And lower your bum all the way down. Reach your arms out in front of you. Can we lower the final little movement? Final little core movement. Lowering for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Release your head. Step your feet close to your glute. Squeeze your bum. And then press down through your feet and lift your hips to the sky. Staying here in your bridge. Slight tuck of your tailbone. Imagine your pubic bone is trying to kind of topple on towards your face. That's going to make sure that the movement, the height, is coming from your bum, your muscles, and not from your lower back. Inhale, press down through your feet. Let your belly balloon up. Exhale, feel your collar bones broaden and your knees drive further forwards. Inhale, press down. Exhale, open collarbones. Just one more breath, you can do it. And this time as you exhale, slowly lower your back down. Let your bum muscles relax. <laughs> Reach your arms open wide. And you can let your knees windshield wipe left and right. And then option to stretch your legs completely long for Shavasana. Or step your feet wide as the mat and let your knees collapse in towards one another. Bring your hands to your belly. Reconnect to some soft skin and some soft breathing. Let any heat that's kind of pulsing about your body to slowly dissipate, cool down. Enjoy your Shavasana. Take a big breath into your belly, an awakening, comforting breath in. And as you exhale, begin to move about your fingers, your toes. Take your stretch, any stretch that feels good, and hug your knees to your chest. Give yourself a squeeze. Rock side to side, a little massage for your spine. And then rest on one side just briefly before you push the ground away and find yourself coming up into any seated position that works for you. Bring your hands together at your heart. And then as you exhale, just bow in towards yourself. Take a moment to give your thanks to your body, your mind, your spirit, your energy today. 
Thank you all for joining me, for giving me your energy, your time. I hope you enjoyed that and were maybe as hot and sweaty as I was. <laughs>